Hi everybody, I'm here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. I'm staying with my twin daughters and my son-in-law, George. And uh, they all work in hospitals and clinics. And so for the instruction or directive of the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, every household can now make their own masks made of cloth and these are okay to wear. So my daughter Vanessa bought a sewing machine. It's over there, but we will show that to you later. And so we decided to uh, make uh, some masks and this is the pattern for a small mask. We have already uh, pre-calculated this so that it's very comfortable to wear with whatever we bought we weren't able to buy any more elastic they aren't available they're not available anymore and so we are using what Vanessa and Monica will use for their hair for a ponytail and uh, this is what we use as a garter and this is the pattern that we have already pre-calculated so that it fits them comfortably and this will be the front of the mask and this will be the, the back of the mask. Uh, we decided that it should be a mask that should have a provision for putting a, an inner filling or um, a fil filter that where they can put in a tissue or another hanky or a HEPA filter which is used for vacuum cleaners uh, it's supposed to be able to uh, prevent um, air particles up to 99.96 percent so this one is quite porous if you use it it will already be helpful but if you want to uh, be more protected then you can add in the filter and this is machine washable and uh, so that we would be able to have a tight uh, closure on the nose Vanessa bought this uh, fuzzy sticks this is what she was able to buy uh, so you pre-cut this up to maybe about half an inch from the edge on both ends and, and so this is what you use this is what you use for this part on the nose, okay? First, using folded front as guide, stitch on the two back pieces, making sure to lock where the notch marks are. Using your hand or scissors, press on the opened up seams. We want to do this so that when we uh, stay stitch them, it will be a lot easier. We are working on the part where the additional filter may be inserted. We now work on the fuzzy stick to make a better closure over the nose. You can look for other materials that may be available, whatever you have in the house.
Um, we need to pre-cut the uh, fuzzy stick or whatever material you found in your house. Uh, leave about half an inch or even a bit more on both edges. Then we do the seam for the jaw, lower portion. Now we start preparing the um, elastic that we need to attach. This is a bit uh, difficult because you need to be able to lock over the elastic. Yeah. 
and here is our finished product with the very important provision for an additional protection by putting in tissue or paper towel or um, HEPA filter or maybe a hanky. Monica finally decided to make her own and it was quite a success. Monica's mask is with a paper towel inside. Remember to always be protected. Wear your mask. Travels, gardens, Ikinobo Ikibana, zero waste gardening, making money, painting, family, friends, prayers. Please like my video. Please ring the bell below for notifications. Naku, maraming salamat po sa inyo.